I've been out of prison for almost a year now. And the Lord blessed me with a 12 year sentence with, for manslaughter and aggravated assault. June of 2005, I landed on the Torres unit. The Torres unit was very special. All the different programs that they offer, all the volunteers that come in from Kairos and the faith based storms, the church services Monday through Friday, and uh, sometimes even on Saturday and then Sunday, different pastors, different volunteers coming in on Sundays and staying over so we can have drama practice and the prayer team and choir and the band and just the awesome, awesome uh, video ministry that we have there at the Torres unit. Um, my name's Steve and I can remember when I first hit the unit and so when I hit chain, they said, hey, you're going to Torres. I said, oh great. They said, yeah, terrible Torres. Oh wow. Terrible what? And I was like, man, and I got here and the first thing I saw was God's boot camp. And that's exactly what it is. My name is Michael, and I've been part of this Torres Unit ministry, chapel ministry, for over 14 years. Some of the hardest gang members I've seen because of the programs and the, and the services that we have here, that God has been able to just touch their lives like nobody else could. I went to a Kairos one day and it, it it was it was amazing. It was it, it was awesome just seeing guys just sit around and share their hearts. And at first it tripped me out because I, I've ne I've seen all these gangsters uh, just getting open. And uh, I really wanted this f uh, all of my life, man. But I, I lived a facade. I lived a lie for so long. And uh, just watching these men do this, it was it was awesome. You came from heaven to earth. The volunteers there at the Torres, Torres Chapel Prison Unit, um, they helped out so much. Uh, we would be living and confronted with so much uh, fighting and uh, all things going on around. But we would see a Torres volunteer and they would treat us as men. I didn't even know I was a leader. I went in as a follower. <laughs> but I learned how to be a leader through various uh, chapel programs there. All right, run it from here, tie it on here, straight across to that grate. I keep looking around and when I look at the services and I see people just crowded in there and I see people seeking and I wonder, man, what could, what could God do with the community in here and the community outside of here if we had the ability to do it? If we had the space, if we had the location, if we, if we had all these things, instead of, you know, shamming it in and pushing people in and turning people away and, you know, God saved my life in prison. I destroyed so many lives and yet God decided that my life was worth saving. To the things people would say. And I didn't want nobody. Lord, Lord God. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you right now, Father. For you found us faithful, Father God, to, 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 to do your work, Father, this and morning. Lord. Lead to this lonely road I camp, But on the inside I cry. Solo que Dios me cambió y me gustó cómo me cambió y la manera y la persona que soy. Soy más feliz, contento y tengo paz y alegría porque yo sé que la persona que soy puedo seguir adelante ayudándole a otra gente, no solo yo mismo. And I will say that I can never ever forget, as long as I live, how much this place means to me. I'm glad I came to prison because it's changed my life for the better. We have four faith-based wings in here and we have a waiting list on men that want to be in them, men that just want to be around God's light and that's a big deal. I believe God could do so much more if people, you know, contributed. The men getting out of Torres are, are being very successful. The ones that were true inside are coming out and being true out here and being very successful. 